Hello and welcome! I'm Kim, and together with my dogs, Bobby and Bilou, I live in my self-built camper van, and we are getting ready to travel Europe together. Come along, as we say yes to new adventures! Welcome back to a new video. Did you guess where we are? Maybe it was kind of obvious. We are in Luxembourg. And the thing is, I've actually never been here. I've always driven through here and got gas because everybody always says you have to get gas in Luxembourg because it's cheaper. So we're here, but I've never actually been into this country and people have been telling me Luxembourg is so stunning. So we're here now and it is where we are. It's really stunning. I'm not sure if we're allowed to stay here because I saw some signs along the way saying like it's not park is based here, but or it's not. Well, it doesn't. Say, it says that, so we'll be fine, I guess. And there's two other people, which is gonna be fun, hopefully. So yeah, we are here, and then tomorrow we are gonna go to Etzelbrook because uh, my parents are gonna be there. I'm going to visit them. They are on a motorbike trip for two, uh, three days, for uh, three nights, four days. I have no idea where we are, if there's anything to do here, but tomorrow we're gonna look around because I saw beautiful water on the way here. The drive here, the last like half an hour was stunning. It's really beautiful. We are a little bit northwest now in Luxembourg. I've, I just, it's just, it's just, it's just beautiful. Oh, I love it so much. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Well, that was so amazing. I came here to this spot and I saw two people leave and then they got back for, from their walk and I saw that their license plate said UK and I thought, oh my gosh, English people. So I started talking to them. We've been talking for like an hour or something. I cleaned out the van so they could come and look at it because it was such a mess. They were called Adam and Stacy and they have this cute little pupper. Oh, and they were so cool. They're building out this huge van. It's way bigger than mine. I think it's like maybe a little meter longer than a meter longer than mine. But they have like a shower and they have an induction stove and it's so beautiful. It's not finished, but hopefully I can follow them on Instagram when it gets more finished. But it was so nice <laughs> talking to other van lifers. Oh, they're building such a beautiful, beautiful van and they really liked Sophie. Yeah, I'm really proud of showing Sophie to people. Oh, that was so cool. So now we're gonna get settled for the night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I was laying in bed almost sleeping and all of a sudden I hear like bzz, bzz, bzz. <laughs> my face but I still haven't recovered the wasp so I thought it was the wasp <laughs> but it's a cute little beetle I'm gonna catch it and put it outside I carefully put it outside <gasps> oh I jumped out of the bed <laughs> Bobby's like mommy what just happened <laughs> I screamed and I jumped out of the bed it was just a cute beetle, but I was just laying in my bed and all of a sudden there's like <laughs> I don't like it Good morning, you beautiful people. Last night we stayed at the beautiful parking spot. There were like three vans, one, no two, yeah, three vans, one car, I think another car, but they may have left when I woke up. We woke up around eight, but we couldn't really walk anywhere there. And because all the other people were still sleeping, it's Sunday morning, we decided to immediately leave. 
and now we came to this place i'm not sure what it's called i can't really find it but we're here and we're gonna show you guys around So behind me, there's this really cool building. I'm not really sure. I tried to read the sign. I think it's something that was built in 2012 and is belonging to a family. Can't get in, but like they have this gorgeous view. It looks like it's empty, but it's a really cool building. And this view is just, <laughs> it's gorgeous. <laughs> I love it so much. We can go for a little walk here. So I think we're just gonna look around. Oh, there's a bird, a beautiful bird. And uh, I have to wait, be careful because it's all downhill, so that means you have to get uphill to get back to Sophie. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna enjoy this beautiful place because it's still really early in the morning, so it's really quiet just the way I like it. Do you hear that? There's a dog barking down in the valley, but it sounds like there's some kind of barking monster in the valley because it just ricochets everywhere. <laughs> that sounds so cool. Such a cool building. Imagine being the owner. You have such a beautiful panoramic view. It's so stunning. It really is. But there's also something like war ornament things here. Like, I don't know, like big gun things. I can't really read what it is, but yeah, I don't know why they are here. I was thinking of where to go next, but first I want to have some coffee and really relax. This place is really stunning. You're not allowed to part, uh, to sleep in these places. The place that we were at last night, I think, was one of the only places that they kind of allow it. Because everybody came there. But all the other places have sign like, don't stay here. And you do get fined. I read it on Park for Night. But uh, it's still morning, so it's still so calm. I really like that.
beautiful here. The water is so green and then you have like the mirror reflection of the trees in the water. It's so stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. It's really quiet here and there's a lot of fishermen. This river or whatever, it's, I think it's a river. It's going to all these like hills or mountains. I think hills. I don't know. It should be stunning to canoe on. It will be really cool. So, introvert nightmare. <laughs> we, I tried to go, oh, I tried to go to a little waterfall that I thought would be really cute, but I forgot that it's summer holiday and it's Sunday and it was 12 o'clock when we got there. So it was super busy and the roads were closed. It was just a mess. So then I saw all these people and I thought, yeah, I'm not going to go here. I'm not going to enjoy myself. Aww. So we just kept on driving somewhere else. We're now at the entrance of a forest. I have, to, well, I want to be in the t in a town called Ettelbrook this afternoon. So I kind of have to like kill some time. But um, I'm a little bit overwhelmed by all these people that were all some there. I've been having a really quiet time. And of course, it's Sunday. So people are like, yeah, let's go have a nice walk. It's beautiful weather. So why, you know, I agree with them. So uh, we're just going to have some lunch slash brunch slash breakfast and we're gonna have some coffee just settle down for a little bit reset a little bit and then we're gonna see if we can go for a nice walk here because i always appreciate a nice walk in nature so we've just been hanging out in the bed for a little while i took I had some lunch oh, that made me feel so much better I, I've been really enjoying my trip so far the first couple of weeks I've really got like in confrontation with myself like okay I'm on my own and everything I choose I was I remember talking in the beginning about expanding my um, comfort zone and I've really expanded it a lot I really hi Bobby hi Bobby Bobby wants to cuddle that's okay Bobby I want to cuddle too I really expanded my comfort zone by going on this trip and driving in so many hills like all the countries surrounded uh, that surround the Netherlands are covered in hills <laughs> well the beautiful parts are I will be it's been so much fun and it's close to coming to an end I'm still planning some some little cute things that we're gonna visit but I'm gonna slowly get back into society <laughs> I've been really retrieving, I would say this, retrieve myself into the woods. I absolutely love being in the woods. But I've also really realized that I'm missing the sea. So as soon as we get the chance, we'd love to go toward the sea. And see, like, the vast, like, nothingness. And it always fascinates me that when I look at the ocean or I look at the sea, I just see water. But if you could go in... There's like a whole world that we don't see because it's just water. But there's a whole different ecosystem down there. And that's so fascinating to me. I love being at beaches and finding like shells and stuff. And I actually found a dead brown fish once. Which I thought was a baby dolphin. <laughs> it was not. It was just a, a dolphin type fish thing. Such a beautiful animal to see. That was unfortunately dead on the beach. But... So I'm really looking forward to going to visit the sea again. But I'm also really looking forward to having the <coughs> funds and like the feeling the freedom of time. Because even though I had a month, I took like a month for myself to go out. It's just four weeks and it's the longest trip I've ever been on. And it's the longest I've ever been 
on my own out there but still it feels like I want to go further I want to explore more I want to see so many things and I want to get to know myself so much better so many things have changed already and yeah I'm really I really it fascinates me how these things work that when you get yourself out of your normal routine and out of your normal place that you live in and the normal things that you do and the things you know you see every day when you go out of these things how different life is how 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 your mind you know I get confronted with myself all the time when I see lots of people are still get anxiety and um, that's stuff I'm working on I do think I'm an introvert but I, but I kind of think that maybe I never started out in life as an introvert I saw somebody say like uh, you could be an introvert when you have been hurt so much in life that you just decide that it's better to be without people I wonder if that's the case I do like being around people like last night I met these uh, British people they were so awesome and a couple of days ago I met a German guy and I, st I stayed at his property for one night it was so much fun we had an awesome evening just hanging out talking he's a van lifer too and that was just so fascinating to me like how much I appreciate the company of just one person or just two people at once and then I am back on my own again and I love that too and well I'm not on my own I'm with my little puppers but they're awesome so yeah we're going to see if we can go for a walk in these woods and then I have well I don't have to but I'm gonna go into a town which is not my favorite place to be but I do like the buildings seeing what are you doing buddy? I do like seeing all the buildings and everything so I do really like going there and haven't seen my parents in a month. I wonder how that's going to be. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to what the future has in store for me. And I wonder if you guys travel. This is my first like van life trip on my own or van life trip at all. How is it for you guys when you go on the road and you like it, you're on your own? Do you realize that when you get back, the things have changed? Or that you've just evolved as a person how is that for you I'm really wondering because I'm this is just my own personal experience and yeah it's really fascinating to feel all the changes the yeah I don't really know how to describe it I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about but I just feel so much more relaxed so much more like in tune with my daily needs so I can just feel I'm more in the moment that's what I was trying to say I'm more I'm living more in the moment not even completely but more than I used to it's really fascinating to me to to feel this and I wonder how that is for you guys please comment if you if you've been on trips and how it was for you I'd really like to know because uh, I think it's important to share about these things okay we're going to go for a walk in these woods
So we made it to Etzelbrook. We are like in the center of the town, of the city. This is not anything I would normally do, but I hope she's fine here. And um, we're gonna go find my parents and hang out with them. And I found a parking spot 10 minutes away from here where we can stay tonight. So I guess I'll get back to you guys by then. And if there's something to see, I'll take you guys along. We're back at the parking spot that we were on last. That we were at. Uh, we're back at the parking spot that we were at last night because I was in a town called Etzelbrook, only 22 minutes away from here, and I found something that was like 10 minutes away from there, but it was still in a residential area. So I'm pretty sure I'm not really gonna like that. So I decided to come back here because this is on the way to where we're gonna go tomorrow. So I figured I'll just take half well not half like 10 minutes the right way with it so we're here now it's a bit windy today but this time we are the only ones here and last night we were like with five or six people five i think or five vans so yeah <laughs> people might still come tonight because yesterday they also came until later in the evening there, somebody threw a can here. I saw when I got in here, so I'm gonna pick it up and throw it out. Yeah, it's a beer can. Somebody threw it on the floor, so I'm gonna pick it up and put it in the trash can. Oh, we had such a great evening with my parents and their friends. It was so much fun talking about just stuff. We went to a French restaurant because that was the only one that was open, but I had the most wonderful creme brulee and just a nice salad and french fries. <laughs> oh, I had such a wonderful dinner. Come on, So that was amazing. So I'm really, that was a lot of, oh, that was a lot of fun. It was in the middle of the town though. That's not really my jam, but we managed. So we're now back here. I'm really looking forward to taking a shower. So I'm just going to walk the dogs for a little circle. I'm going to throw this can out here because they have... I have seen a lot of trash cans everywhere, which is great. So you can easily dispose of your trash. It's great. Look at this view. It just, it's still stunning. It's still stunning. I think there might be rain coming. I'm not sure. Go ahead. So I'm going to have a shower and get ready for the night. I hope this night will be as awesome as last night was. And tomorrow we're going to go to our sixth country in this trip. So I hope you'll be joining us to see tomorrow's adventures in the next video. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to say yes to new adventures.